We'll Look. see you then. Thank you, Joe. Well, local and state leaders came together today in Corning to say they have had enough of unfunded state mandates. There's a statewide coalition now. It's called Let NY Work, and it wants to see mandate relief for school and local governments statewide. WENY's Nick Quattrini was in Corning for the public forum. Joins us now in the studio with more. Nick? Renata and John, the Let NY Work Coalition says that unfunded mandates are the primary cause of New York having the highest property taxes in the country. It's not good for anybody. So in, when we talk about unfunded mandates, the predominant issue is that many of the people, particularly the taxpayers, tend to be the losers in the equation. Local municipalities across New York State say that they've been forced to raise taxes or make cuts due to the pressure of unfunded state mandates. That's when the state orders local governments to do something at their own cost, without state aid. Oftentimes, that means that the cost is passed down to taxpayers in the form of tax hikes or delays in things like road repairs. Brian Sampson, the executive director of Unshackle Upstate, says that after nothing is left to cut, jobs are the next thing on the chopping block. You know, unfunded mandates, because they are so costly and 65 to 75 percent of local government spending is labor costs, people will lose their jobs when we can't cut services anymore. Local and statewide leaders came together at Centerway Square on Monday to push for mandate relief. The public forum also gave a voice to the Let NY Work Coalition to make lawmakers in Albany aware that they are unhappy of the lack of mandate relief before the close of the legislative session. Corning Mayor Richard Negri says that the city suffered several cutbacks because of unfunded mandates. What we did was lay off 28 people. What we did was cut our budget. What we did is not fix the roads. Those are the things we did to try to keep our taxes down. What we want to do is we want to use this event today and the other ones we're doing across the state of New York to educate taxpayers to make it a part of the conversation heading into the elections this November. Now for more information on the Let NY Work Coalition, go to WENY.com and click on this story. We're reporting in the studio, Nick Quaterini, WENY News.